Well, today, Coal Strip, Montana's coal energy hub, began charting a new path forward. With plans in the works to shut down the two oldest coal strip power plants by 2022, today's meeting was just the first step in the long process. Q2's Jay Cohn traveled to Coal Strip this morning to find out firsthand what the community, along with state and local leaders, have in mind. Montana Governor Steve Bullock and Attorney General Tim Fox welcomed a room full of Coal Strip citizens Monday to the initial meeting of the Coal Strip Advisory Board. This is the group that will decide how best to spend $10 million in community impact funds to help deal with the pending closure of Coal Strip Units 1 and 2. Attorney General Tim Fox, who grew up in nearby Hardin, knows the stakes are extremely high. My office at the Department of Justice is committed to supporting this community as it plans for the future, and I want Coal Strip to know that I have your back. And while this community has experienced many challenges over the past few years, there, I believe, is reason to be optimistic. The governor said while he's anxious to see the specific ideas to come out of the advisory board, he's confident the same work ethic that helped build Coal Strip in the beginning will serve the community well into the future. That work ethic and that ability to also say, how can we work together moving forward, gives me a great confidence that we're going to both preserve and enhance both jobs and livelihoods in this town. And we'll do it with a made Montana solution. In addition to the steam clouds hanging over the coal strip generating complex today, there's also an air of uncertainty here as to what that future might hold. But both Governor Bullock and Attorney General Fox told us they're convinced coal strip and Montana are up to the task. At the end of the day, I mean, this was a company town. <laughs> and it was built by the companies, but now the community has to own it and say that we're actually bigger and stronger than just the companies in this town, and this is what we want to be doing. I don't believe the plan is no more coal, no more, no more coal fire generation. Uh, I think that the, there are many options on the table, uh, and we need to make sure that we look at all of them. This advisory board includes not only the governor and attorney general's office, but also representatives from local unions, Puget Sound Energy, and the local Economic Development Corporation, all important stakeholders as to what shape Coal Strip's future will take. Time will tell just how quickly that new future will arrive. Jay Cohn, MTN News, Coal Strip. Thanks so much, Jay. Now, controversy is nothing new to Coal Strip and its power plants. Coming up in tonight's Q2 Rewind, we'll show you what we found in the Q2 archives.